In the event of a major medical emergency, the ideal destination is a hospital. When every second counts, the faster one gets there, the better. Hospitals treat many patients and save a lot of lives. However, with all the illnesses caused by superbugs, microbes and viruses, medical staff have to be constantly alert. Hospital-acquired infections are estimated to more than double the mortality and morbidity risks of any admitted patient. Their impact on the healthcare systems worldwide is significant. Hospital-acquired infections are a serious problem, since microscopic organisms are found everywhere. The key in protecting patients and healthcare workers from infections and preventing the spread of potentially deadly diseases is to make certain that everything being used is clean, disinfected, sterilized and packaged in what's called a sterile barrier system. The role of the barrier material is to ensure that the medical device is sterile at the point of use. In hospitals, many instruments are reusable. In the central sterilization department, highly trained and specialized staff are responsible for cleaning, disinfecting, packing and sterilizing medical devices before they're used. These heat-sealed pouches are one type of sterile barrier system, but there are many more. There are different wrapping methods used in healthcare facilities. The method illustrated here is the one used in the Martini Hospital in Groningen, the Netherlands. The role of the barrier material is to maintain sterility and it's therefore extremely important that the integrity of the sterile barrier system is not compromised in any way, either during sterilization, transport and storage prior to being used. Since their introduction about 40 years ago, Single-use sterile barrier systems have played a significant role in the prevention of infection in hospitals and healthcare facilities. In almost all instances, medical devices must remain sterile in the packaging system up to the point of use. Manufacturers of sterile barrier systems must meet stringent worldwide standards and laws for technical specifications, design and proper manufacturing procedures. Labeling is essential for traceability at all times. After packing, the devices are sterilized to kill all the bacteria within the sterile barrier system. After sterilization, the sterilized devices, protected by their sterile barrier system, are stored under special conditions until needed for an intervention or operation. In the same storage area, we find lots of other types of medical device, such as syringes, catheters, tubes or dressings. For these devices, it's more appropriate that they're designed for single use. The manufacturer packs the devices in their sterile barrier systems and they're sterilized before being delivered to hospitals or healthcare facilities. The sterile barrier ensures that the contents remain sterile up to the point of use on the patient and afterwards, both the device and the sterile barrier are disposed of. For the opening of a sterile barrier system, aseptic techniques must be respected so that the device does not get contaminated. Proper procedures to maintain sterility in the healthcare environment is of the utmost importance so that patients are not placed at further risk when being taken to or being treated in the hospital. In the never-ending battle against hospital-acquired infections, it's critical that strict rules are followed up in hospitals, healthcare facilities and anywhere sterile medical devices are used. For the protection of patients against potentially deadly infections, the medical staff have to know the correct method of use, opening and presentation of the sterilized medical devices. The benefits of single-use sterile barrier systems have been proven without a doubt and are the all-important first line of defense in the prevention of hospital-acquired infections. <laughs>